Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the eastern uh, part of the United States. It's time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. I'm Tim K3LR, and along with me today is Jeff KB8ZWT. How's it going, Jeff? Going good. How are you doing today, Tim? Good, good, good. And, uh, you know, uh, you're you're right there on the front lines uh, taking calls from the customers. What what are you hearing today? Yeah, we're having some questions about uh, bands and onions or onions. Some say onions. Uh, but uh, what do I need? How do I use it? What's the best? Okay. Well, let's let's talk about uh, what is a ballon and what is an onion. And a ballon is uh, is B A L U N. It's not balen. Uh, it's not ballum. It's ballon. And the B A L is balanced, and the U N is unbalanced. So it's a transition from balanced to unbalanced. And that's what makes a ballon. Now, an un un or your onion, <laughs> it's it is pronounced un un, um, is unbalanced to unbalanced. And so, what is balanced and what is unbalanced? Well, let's let's talk about that. And um, uh, I'm going to share my uh, screen here, Jeff. So when you uh, when you see it, let me know. Um, we're going to talk about balanced and unbalanced. All right, there. Okay. All right. This is coming up now. Yeah, this is a uh, a typical feed point for a high gain Yagi. Uh, very very popular uh, antennas. Lots of them made. Uh, some of them are tri band. Some of them are mono band. And uh, Jeff, you see where the uh, the coax is uh, running along the boom there. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. And, yeah, and then the coax um, is broken out so that the shield goes to one side and the center conductor goes to the other side. And um, they are not showing a ballon here, but they need to. Um, and uh, they may have it in another drawing. But uh, the problem with the way this is hooked up here by just feeding it with the coax is that the coax becomes part of the antenna and uh, and part of the radiating system, and that's bad. Um, the feed line's job is to deliver power to the antenna or to accept electro, uh, electromagnetic radiation down as a pipe. It is not meant to be part of the radiating system. So this is where you want to have a balance because this element here is balanced. It's just like a dipole. A dipole is a balanced antenna. You know, both sides are the same. And however, coax is unbalanced. And that's where you go from balanced to unbalanced. Coax is always unbalanced and you don't want the shield to radiate. You want to make sure that the shield stays cold. So part of that is, uh, a kit like this, which is the, the BN86 upgrade kit for Yagi antennas. And here is a one-to-one -one ballon. The feed point of the high gain antenna is 50 ohms and our coax is 50 ohms. So we don't want to change anything. It's a one-to-one -one ballon. It goes from balanced, you're going to hook both sides of the Yagi there. You can see the um, the connections. You can see also here's here's the feed point of the high gain antenna, and uh, here here is the balanced driven element going to unbalanced coax. And so DX Engineering sells lots of different balance. Um, we uh, sell balance and feed line chokes. Uh, you can see that here. You can also um, we ha also have four to one balance. There are antennas out there that have a 200 ohm feed point impedance and you have to get it down to 50 ohms to hook to your coax. So this does the transition for you, 200 ohms to 50 ohms. It's a four to one 
uh, balance balanced to unbalanced. And I wanted to also show you, uh, Jeff, um, I brought a, a couple of examples with me today. Um, this is a, um, this is a beverage transformer. So this is an un -un, unbalanced to unbalanced because the beverage wire is fed against ground. And so that's unbalanced, but it's 450 ohms. And that's what hooks up to the red and and the black connections. The red is for the beverage antenna and the black is for the ground. And then you see the coax connector. And if you look inside, it's uh, two ferrite cores. This takes 450 ohms. It's nine to one and makes it 50 ohms just with the ferrite and the windings on, on the core for the beverage. Right. Um, You've seen uh, cable TV coax, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Line. You know that's it. Uh, they wire it between the poles. Here's a here's another un un. This is mm -hmm. a one point five to one un un. So it takes seventy five ohms in on this port and converts it to fifty ohms down here, so that you oh, okay. can use seventy five ohm, uh, very inexpensive hard line. Um, right. Here's, here's another un, -un. This is a 50-ohm un, -un. Um, And what it does is it, it just takes and chokes the outside of the feed line. This is 50 ohms. Chokes the outside of the feed line. And this is a pretty small ferrite in here. So it's not good for a lot of power, maybe about 50 watts. And then this is one of my favorites. This is known as the CFC-50. That yeah. we have here at DX Engineering, and this is a hundred beads, a hundred ferrite beads on on my favorite coax, the RG four hundred, and uh, right. you can see the the connectors there. And this is a very very good feed line choke or a one to one balance. So that that's what we got here, Jeff, and uh, hopefully that clears it up for some of the customers that were yeah. calling in. I think they will. Good. I think they will. Let's, let's see who we have on here today. We have uh, Jody, KB4OVP is on. And from uh, the UK, it's Germany 6, Mike, November, Delta. And uh, John, W1, Juliet, Germany, Mike. And India Tango 9, India, Delta, Golf. Uh, Giuseppe is on. And also from Italy, India Uniform 5, Fox, Golf, Radio. And Chuck. KA3DFK, uh, Chuck checked into the net this morning on 75 meters. And from, uh, let's see, we have Yankee Oscar 7. I think we lost Charles. him there for a moment. Uh, Tim, I think you're just having a little bit of audio difficulty there. It, uh, I think we're okay. Um we got uh, 7 X Ray 2 Radio All Fox. Right. Yeah, I lost him there. We'll wait and see if he comes back in here in just a minute. Um, but we had some good calls today, uh, people coming in, calling in about the balance of unins. And I did want to mention uh, we had two Summit employees who just got their uh, call signs today as well. So congratulations to uh, Dave and Carrie. Um, I'm not able to see what uh, people are writing in, so we're going to. Wait and see if we can get Tim back up and running here. Yep, we're uh, we're up and running, Jeff. Nope, I think we're still having some problems there. All right, not sure what's going on there. Um, hey, Katie, are you able to uh, send him a message, see if he can... We got seven X Ray Two Radio Fox, uh, Yankee Charlie Zero, Oscar Juliet Mike, and uh, Papa Yankee Two Bravo November is on from Brazil, and November Lima Seven Delta, and Whis Whiskey Bravo Three Lima Hotel Delta. Um, any side grounded on the coax makes it unbalanced. There you go. Uh, and from uh, Northern Ireland, it's Mike India Zero Tango Jerk. Juliet Mike and Whiskey Six Germany Fox and November Seven Bravo Victor Tango 
and Delta Juliet 5 Bravo Tango um, from Germany. And uh, let's see here. The G3 TXQ homepage has information about balance too. Yes. Kilo Delta 5 Juliet Radio Mike and Joe K0 NEB and Glenn WB4 KTF and KE5 Oscar Oscar Lima and November Mike 2 Radio is on and the tall guy uh, K3 Sugar Tango Lima and uh, Bruce Whiskey 8 Yankee Fox Lima and uh, Danny Kilo 5 Fox Delta Radio and November Alpha 3 Echo and um, Echo 73 Mike Danny nice to see you Lima United 4 Echo Tango Oscar and uh, Papa Yankee 4 Mike Alpha Bravo says thanks for the explanations and November Yankee 0 Victor um, November Charlie 8 India is on and uh, the audio is okay that's good yeah uh, just having a, a little bit of uh, difficulty there Mike India 5 Japan Yankee Kilo great to work you in the ARL contest good uh, topic on the balance yeah it was uh, contest was a lot of fun and uh, even though the band conditions could have been better hey you never know what you're gonna get and uh, whiskey Delta 8 Juliet Mike and uh, Everybody says they hear me fine. Herb, K2 LNS is on. And uh, Joel says, I got three orders coming Wednesday from DX Engineering. 70 degrees and new antenna projects. Here we go, Joel. November Fox 3 Radio. And hello, Bob, WD8NVN. And Rich says, uh, is an SWR meter needed when using a tuned 2 meter and 440 antenna? Well, it's not needed, Rich, but it's all, it's um, it's something you, that you do want to check. You want to make sure that the SWR is low on both bands. You can do it with an SWR meter that is, uh, uh, you know, suited for VHF, UHF. Um, what I like to do is, is use one of the handheld analyzers, like a rig expert. And uh, that'll tell you the, the, the story about the SWR. So, um, it, or you can use a watt meter. Um, you know, we sell watt meters and SWR meters and, of course, the antenna analyzers. And hello to Reinhardt, Delta Hotel 3, November Alpha Bravo, and uh, Booker, Kilo Kilo 4, Zulu Delta Radio. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Zev, November 2, Whiskey Kilo Sierra. What is the practical difference between a toroid wound beads on the coax and an ugly balloon. Um, Zev, uh, there are uh, differences, uh, you know, in size, obviously, but the toroid wound um, balloons have really good uh, common mode impedance. Um, but I, I like uh, I like the beads on the coax. You can get a lot of common mode impedance. They both work the same. The ugly balloon you don't get much uh, common mode impedance. The ugly balloon is ugly, and uh, it is very inexpensive, but it doesn't work very well. Um, you know, here in recent years, we've gotten equipment to measure common mode impedance really well, and that has caused us to rethink things like the ugly balloon. So unless that's the only thing you got, don't use the ugly balloon. But beads on the coax are great, and the toroid wound, uh, uh, ones are very good as well. So um, let's see. We got uh, Charlie Tango 7 Alpha Bravo Delta on. And uh, Luke says, in March, I'm going to get my license in April. Okay. And uh, congratulations, uh, Luke. We're, we're all pulling for you. Alpha Alpha Zero Alpha Lima in Alabama. And from Italy, India Zulu 4 Delta Yankee Quebec. From Chile, it's Charlie Echo 2. Uh, Lima Radio, and uh, nice to see you, Matias. Uh, very good operator, and I know you had a lot of fun this past weekend in the DX contest. Whiskey One, Juliet Golf Mike says, what happens at the surge arrestor by grounding the box before it enters the house? Um, well, that's that's the whole idea, is, is to get those surges um, to the ground rod before it comes in the house. That's exactly what you want to do. 
Kilo Echo 9 Bravo Victor, and Victor Echo 2 Quebec Radio. And John says, does it make the coax unbalanced? Uh, coax is always unbalanced. Um, so uh, no, uh, no worries there. Coax is always unbalanced. And uh, Chuck uh, KA3DFK says, waiting on some coax that I ordered last night. Um, probably you'll have it uh, tomorrow, Chuck. Um, but uh, I'm sure that uh, we're communicating shipping status to you. So you should be in great uh, shape there with the coax. Whiskey 3 Alpha Zulu Tango and uh, Whiskey Papa 3 Tango Quebec in North Carolina. And uh, here's Bill. Uh, nice to see you on, Bill. Common Bow Kern is the first thing you should be blaming for RFI problems in your shack. Don't forget to read through K9 YC's guide on the topics. That is a great read. And uh, thanks very much for uh, chiming in, Bill, W9KKN. Uh, just uh, Google K9YC and you'll come up to uh, uh, Jim's great topic uh, of RFI in the ham shack. And a lot of things can be, uh, be taken care of with the uh, proper placement of chokes and one-to-one -one line isolators. And Victor Alpha 3 Echo Bravo Mike is on and Whiskey Alpha 8 Radio Radio is on and india uniform three bravo tango yankee and uh john says does it make it radiate and the answer is no as long as you have the proper uh choke ballon um at the feed point it's not going to radiate and uh rich is kilo india six delta bravo november bought both of my five and three foot uh radio tower bases from you guys great service as always and uh, you may notice that uh, uh, you're getting shipments now from uh, our warehouse in Sparks, Nevada. Um, and we also, you can do uh, in-store pickups there too. There's not a DX Engineering showroom there, but uh, we do have uh, lots of stock out in Sparks. So uh, especially West Coast customers should be getting uh, quicker service, uh, ground service when ordering from DX Engineering. And um, see, uh, Joe at K0NEB says snap on chokes are great for taking common mode off rotor cables and control lines. That's right. And there's a full line of those uh, uh, snap on chokes here at DX Engineering. Well, that's what we have for a Tuesday. Uh, I hope everybody had fun. Make sure you go to our blog. The DX Engineering blog is on allbands.com and click on the events calendar so you'll know which manufacturer we're going to talk to on Thursday. That'll be Thursday afternoon at uh, 1930 Zulu. That's 2.30 Eastern time. And uh, so, and of course, this Saturday, uh, the clocks in the United States go ahead. So we'll be adjusting all the times so that uh, we get everything correct for you. And uh, so take a look at On All Bands. Uh, great information there. We're updating it just about every day with new interesting articles and keep tabs on the DX Engineering website. We're starting to put open box up there and that's really uh, very cool too. And you're going to learn more about the open box program here at DX Engineering very soon. For now, 73 from DX Engineering.